uh, what is the difference in atelectasis and consolidation? Have you heard of the word consolidation of lung, right? Or signs of consolidation or radiological signs of consolidation, right? Before I really go into types of detail, I really want to know that you guys know the difference in atelectasis and consolidation. So who is going to tell me? All of you look super intelligent. Yes. Sir, uh, consolidation in the pneumonia occurs in pneumonia. Okay, he is saying consolidation occurs in pneumonia. That is right. But what is the difference between atelectasis and consolidation? It is separated in infection. Okay, you are saying that uh, consolidation is separative inflammation. Or infection of the lung, not necessarily, not necessarily, it may or may not be. Anyone who has a better concept of consolidation? Yes. You have heard of this term or not, first of all? You have heard it so many times. Lung has undergone consolidation. What is meant by consolidation? You are right that consolidation should be there if you are going to diagnose pneumonia. But consolidation of the lung can occur even in those conditions where there is no pneumonia. So consolidation, yes. During consolidation, some cells are also involved, like inflammatory cells, macrophages. Cells. But in not in, necessarily. In consolidation, the lung does not inflate, or the part of the lung does not inflate or deflate. Okay, very good. He is saying that in consolidation, uh, lung does not inflate or deflate. I think it's not very interesting answer. Okay, before you tell me again very new things. Let me tell you what is the difference in atelectasis and consolidation, right? Uh, let's suppose here is a one lung. This is a lung of another patient. Is that right? Okay. Let's make it a little like that. Now, I will tell you what is the difference in, okay, let's make it two lungs. I will show one lung has atelectasis and other lung has consolidation. Okay, suppose this is the right lung. And this is, let's suppose, left lung, right? It's a very simple diagram. And let's suppose, here there was complete obstruction, right? That led to what was this, what happened to this area? Collapse. Collapse. Right? So this is, what is this? Atelectasis. Is that right? It is like previously inflated balloons are deflated. These are deflated balloons. Or in neonatal atelectasis, we can say when balloons never got inflated properly. But actually, here atelectasis. Now what is consolidation? Let me show you. Consolidation is a condition Suppose these are the air spaces. What are these? Air spaces. Here the air spaces are not collapsed. In consolidation, air spaces are not collapsed. Rather, air spaces are filled with some material. They are filled with some material. Right? It may be fluid or maybe I will tell you there can be any material which can fill up small airways and air spaces like alveoli. And this filling, this filling of fluid displaces the air. The filling of fluid here displaces the yeah. air. Now this part of the lung where air spaces are not collapsing, they are not deflated. Rather air has been replaced by some abnormal substance, pathological substance, maybe most commonly fluid. Right, and this area become little swollen and little hardened because normally lungs are soft, but when they are full of fluid, right, or exudate or transudate, whatever fluid or even blood, so this area become indurated, indurated part of the lung, or we can say this part of the lung become swollen and heavy, boggy right as compared to this one now this is called consolidation what is it called consolidation, consolidation. so there is a big difference in uh, atelectasis and consolidation atelectasis this collapse of the air spaces 
लीडिंग टू द लॉस ऑफ लंग वॉल्यूम देर इज लॉस ऑफ लंग वॉल्यूम इन कंसॉलिडेशन द एयर एयर इन द एयर स्पेसिस हैज बीन रिप्लेस बाय सम अदर पैथोलॉजिकल फ्लूड और मटीरियल राइट विदाउट लॉस ऑफ लंग वॉल्यूम देर इज नो लॉस ऑफ वॉल्यूम लंग वॉल्यूम इज द सेम बट एरिएशन इज नॉट अकरिंग यू आर गेटिंग इट नाउ वेन कंसोलिडेशन कैन अकर कंसोलिडेशन कैन अकर क्लासिकली इन्फेक्शन पलमोनरी इन्फेक्शन नमूनिया राइट इन नमूनिया देर इज एक्सुडेटिव फ्लूड राइट सपोरेटिव फ्लूड विच मे एक्यूमुलेट इन एयर स्पेसिस राइट एयर इज डिसप्लेस्ड राइट एंड पास इज अक्यूमुलेटेड हेयर और वी कैन से सपोरेटिव एक्सुडेट is accumulated here so we say that there is a pneumonic patch or there is consolidation but it's not only pneumonia it can occur in any condition which can replace the air with some other content for example uh, it can occur it may be in suppurative pneumonia it is exudate is that right but it may be transudate transudative fluid is there protein poor fluid dative fluid transudative fluid like congestive cardiac failure right and left ventricular failure in pulmonary edema when there is severe pulmonary edema in congestive cardiac failure when there is pulmonary edema what will happen that air spaces are full with edema edema fluid is that right and that is transudative fluid so there can be transudative fluid or there can be exudative fluid or even there can be blood here pulmonary hemorrhages trauma may lead to blood accumulation in some air spaces and those part of the lungs become consolidated so we can say there can be transudative fluid here there can be exudative fluid here there can be blood here or even in some advanced stages there may be cancer cells filling a significant part of air spaces of the lung right that is also consolidation so what could be the causes of consolidation Con first of all what yeah. is first of all what is consolidation consolidation is said to be solidification of a part of a lung what is consolidation solidification of a part of a lung how this solidification can occur when air has been displaced or replaced by some fluid or some other pathological content which may be transudative fluid like in just cardiac failure may be exudative fluid like pneumonia or there may be uh, blood in hemorrhages different type of hemorrhages there or sometimes even cancer cells so i hope now onward you will not confuse atelectasis and consolidation is that right and remember pneumonia is not diagnosed without the features of consolidation right but consolidation not only occur in pneumonia it can occur in many other conditions too yes you have a question uh, sir in consolidation there is loss of hollowness of air spaces so why vocal resonance is reduced okay he has a very interesting question that when a part of a lung is consolidated why vocal resonance is reduced the answer is that a vocal resonance is produced by the air process when air is reaching here let's suppose you put a stethoscope here and you are trying to hear the sounds right now sounds are coming up to this area are they going forward breathe no. air flow breathing sounds or when you are speaking the sounds waves are reaching up to here are they going further no if they are not reaching further let's suppose if we talk about that when you say 99 99 you produce the sound from here right when you producing the sound it not only comes out it travels downward in the lungs also when sound is going down do you think in normal lung as the sound is going down it will pass through repeatedly dividing airways and eventually sound will reach up to the end of the alveoli and by the time sound reaches to the peripheral part of the lung it become muffled normally but in this case sound will reach to the major bronchus and after that there is a patch of consolidation will sound reach far forward no no and will it uh, will it be picked here 
no it will not be muffled properly the sound will not be muffled properly but there is one thing when there is console you are deviating me from the topic anyway uh, but one thing is there when sound waves are reaching here we say there is a bronchial character of the sound you have heard of this term bronchial character of the sound normally sound if you hear in the major airways it is bronchial but as sound break down into smaller and smaller deviations as it goes to the peripheral part of the lung it becomes vesicular you know that when you you are producing the sound sound is passing through major airways right and then smaller airways then more smaller airways then more smaller airways and then so many deviations and eventually sound reach to the peripheral part of the lung where you pick up with the stethoscope is that right that sound in a normal normal healthy lung by the time it reaches uh, up to the periphery from here up to the periphery right it has been so many times divided that it loses its bronchial characteristic and it becomes vesicular sound and it becomes vesicular sound is that right now here when sound is coming what is it will hit the consolidated patch will it divide further no so this consolidated patch is a conductor of sound but sound is conducted through the patch as it was here it was bronchial characteristic or vesicular characteristic here bronchial. bronchial so you will hear bronchial sounds here is that right but remember i don't want to go into detail now we'll have a separate lectures on respiratory sounds is that right but for a while you just trust me what i'm trying to tell you right that normally sound passes through airways and if lung is properly aerated as the sound reaches to the peripheral most area it become muffled it changes in character and this change in the character of the sound by the time it reaches to the distal area uh, it there is no uh, no silence between inspiration and expiration there is no gap and that is called which sound vesicular sound but when you are hearing the sound in major airways or you auscultate the sound here inspiration and expiration uh, you will hear the inspiratory sound you will hear the expiratory sound and you will find a little gap in between this is the characteristics of bronchial sound is that right so but in this case you will not you will have bronchial sound going up to the periphery but in normal part bronchial sound will not reach up to the periphery is it clear uh, you got your answer or not yet okay now come back you are clear about consolidation 